Hi, good morning children. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Welcome to Nirbhaya High School, Padmanaga Phase 2, Chintan. Digital Learning Classes to understand the subject easily. I am your English teacher, Astralakshmi Ma. Hi children, till yesterday what we have learned, we have completed our module 1 in the workbook part. What we have completed, we will recall it once, okay? First one, animals and their young ones. What is animals and the young ones? Means the animals we have, ma ma the following we have done, see? Means like animals and their young ones. Means tiger, cub. Tiger's young one is called as cub. And what it is? Hen. Hen young one is called as chick. Like that we have completed the animals and their young ones. Yes, we have completed in that part missing letters and math the following. And coming to the next part is grammar. What we have completed, we have learned in the grammar children, we have learned the nouns. We have learned about nouns. What are the nouns? Nouns are naming words. Nouns are naming words. Here in nouns, we have, we have done these five types of nouns we have learned. Five types of nouns we have learnt. Common noun, proper noun, masculine gender noun, feminine gender noun, neuter gender noun. What is common gender? Common noun children. Common nouns are general names given to a person, thing or animal place. Proper noun, a particular name given to a person, thing, animal or place. Masculine gender noun. Masculine gender noun means male. Male animals. Male or boys. And feminine gender means female. Female animals, girls. Coming to neuter gender noun. Neuter gender noun means non-living things. Now what are the examples we will see here? Common. Commonly we will call as boys. Girls. Yes. When we are giving a name, proper particular name, then it will come under proper noun. Like I said on that day, Tanish, Swati. Here masculine, Tanish. Feminine, Swati. Neuter, pen. Or it is neuter, pen. Pen, book, pencil, leather. All these are called as neuter gender nouns. What we have learned? Animals and their young ones. Nouns. In nouns, common noun, proper noun, masculine gender noun, feminine gender noun and neuter gender noun. We have learned about this. And we have learned formal writing and creative writing. In formal writing, answer question based on a picture. By seeing the picture, by seeing this picture, we have answered the questions. We have answered the questions. And creative writing, by seeing the picture, we have completed a sentences. We have completed the sentences. Yes, children, have you practiced this too? Creative writing, yes. Now, what is your work? Already we have completed the workbook part. I hope everyone has written the workbook part. Yes. Now what do you want to do? Take out one newspaper. English newspaper. See here. I hope you are all having the newspapers in your house. Yes. English newspaper. Or you can take a magazine also. English. Or you can take any science book. Or in your, our English textbook only. You can take it. Yes. You can take English textbook or a newspaper. And I have taught you about common, proper, masculine, feminine, neuter genders. Masculine gender noun, feminine gender noun, neuter gender noun, common noun, proper noun. You know, everyone knows about this. Yes. What is your work? Take out your newspaper and read one paragraph from the newspaper and underline these nouns in that. What you should do? You should underline the common noun, proper noun. Means take two, three color pencils and what you will do? Shade it for one noun, underline for another noun. Yes. Or you can write, when you are underlining, you can write C for common. Underline the word and write it up C. Underline the word, write it up P. Underline word and write it M, masculine. Underline F and write it on F. Underline and write on new, N, neuter gender. For you can write the first letters C, P, M, F, N. And in the newspaper. You should do it in the newspaper and send to me. I will check and I will give the comment for you. You have done the correct or not. Yes, children? I hope everyone will do this. Take out your newspaper. One newspaper or any textbook. And underline the words. Underline the nouns. Underline the nouns. It is common means up. You will underline the word now. Write it up. C. Proper means P. 
Feminine means F. Masculine means M. Neuter means N. Like this, you should write it the first letter of the verb. First letter of the noun. First letter of the noun. You should underline the nouns in the newspaper. And about formal and creative, I will show you the picture and under, give and write the answers for the question. Understood, children? And creative writing for the same picture, write the six sentence your own. Understood, everyone? Children, what we have done? Formal writing and creative writing. Yes, formal writing and creative writing. By seeing the picture, we have completed the formal writing questions. And by seeing the picture only, we have completed the creative writing sentences. Yes, children. Now, same. I will show you one picture. And I will give you the answers. You should complete it. Yes, okay, everyone. We are ready to see the picture. See carefully and answer the questions which I gave on the board. I will show you the clear picture of the picture and I will show you the question answers also. Understood children? See here. Everyone see clearly. See it carefully. I am showing it clearly. Yes children? See the picture? See the picture children everyone? You can see the picture now? You can see the picture clearly. Yes? See the picture how it is. You can check it. Carefully see the picture. What are there in the picture? Observe that and think it. Understood? And you should answer these questions. You should answer these questions. See, what is the name of the place in the picture? What is the name of the place in the picture? Which animals do you see? Which animals do you see? Which animals do you see in the picture? See it carefully. What are the animals doing? What are the animals doing? What are the animals doing? See the picture carefully. And how do, what the people are doing? What the people are doing? What the people are doing there? See the picture and tell. How do you feel when you see the picture? How do you feel when you see the picture? See the questions children and see the picture and answer it. Understood? See the picture and see read the question and questions and answer the questions. Understood children? See the picture carefully. See the picture carefully children. Yes. See the picture carefully. And I have given the questions here. By seeing this picture, I am given the questions here now. By write this uh, question answers in your book and send to me. Okay children. By seeing the picture, you should write this answers. For these questions, you should write the answer by seeing the picture. And see, by seeing this picture, you write, you form a, you write six sentences on your own. You should write six sentences on your own. Not these sentences, six sentences, another six sentences you should write your own. Understood children? Formal writing and creative writing, you will be done the revision for like this. Understood everyone? By seeing the picture only, you should write these questions. You should write the, you should answer these questions. You should answer these questions by seeing this picture. Understood children? Everyone? Understood clearly? Once again I should tell you. See the picture and answer these questions. Understood children? Okay. Do it.